What is good YouTube? My name is George. Welcome to another video. So I don't know about you guys, but I have been spending a lot of time on TikTok during this quarantine. I'm genuinely kind of fascinated with this app. I can't believe it has just exploded out of nowhere. And I have been noticing a growing presence of skateboarders on TikTok. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a comprehensive skaters guide to TikTok. I have a lot of thoughts about it. So I'm going to kind of try to synthesize all these thoughts and define what exactly is TikTok for skateboarders. I recently came across this barracks video and before I say anything, let me just play it. On my way to the barracks for the second day of our national team summit, try and uh, capture a bunch of imagery, still photos and other things that we can use to promote the team. When I first saw this, I, I did a double take. There's a fat TikTok logo plastered on the wall in the barracks. That's right. This video by the barracks is sponsored by TikTok. TikTok must have thrown bands for this sponsorship. And here is what just a few skaters had to say about this collaboration. Someone please save skateboarding, LOL. That's like the least skater company to sponsor ever, WTF. Please do not bring TikTok into skateboarding for the love of God, no. <laughs> the craziest thing is that this series is sponsored by TikTok. F TikTok. <laughs> It seems like skateboarders do not really like TikTok, but there is a huge presence of skateboarding on TikTok, which is why we're gonna break it down. We are gonna start this video with today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. I encourage you to watch through this sponsorship because Skillshare is awesome. They have been supporting my content quite a bit, and I'm going to be making another $100 donation thanks to this sponsorship, so let me tell you about it. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes and millions of members. There are tons of classes in entrepreneurship, technical skills like video editing and Photoshop, and creative fields, Skillshare can seriously be your secret weapon. There is so much to learn. You can learn a new skill to kickstart a new career, or you can just try something you're curious about that you've never tried before. Either way, Skillshare is a phenomenal platform, and right now they are offering two months of Skillshare premium for free to the first 1,000 people who click the link at the top of my description. Take a look around and see if you like Skillshare. If you do, premium membership comes out to less than $10 a month for an annual subscription. Once again, smash that link at the top if you are interested. And thank you again to Skillshare for supporting my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Let's get back to the video. So what is TikTok? How do you describe an app where a gentleman with a mustache cutting up an apple can get 17,000 likes? <laughs> TikTok is a very weird place. First interesting observation is there's not a whole lot of just pure skateboarding clips. I've tried throwing up just some edits of my clips on TikTok and they almost never perform well. When I do see a skateboarding clip on my For You page, there's almost always something else about it that adds a little wow factor or a funny factor. Sometimes there will just be an absolutely insane clip that does really well on TikTok, like this Nolly late front foot flip, this fat tweaked out indie grab. She say I'm a triple, honey, welcome to Trivago. Tell me who you know, who is he tripping for a follow? This front flip clip is crazy viral. I mean, this would go viral anywhere. Also wonder why ESPN is posting it. I hope they paid <laughs> a lot of money for it. So check this one out. Nose Manny. That nose Manny was awesome, but I feel like that awesome lady's reaction is why this clip went viral. Here's another one. Sick Impossible, back three slip out. <laughs> but then this homie running to get the board, I feel like is what, it's almost what makes you smile. I don't know, I just get this sense that a skateboarding clip with nothing else to it feels like it belongs on Instagram. I feel like people go on TikTok for for more of an experience. Whereas you might log on to Instagram just to watch somebody's skateboarding clips. Now this clip went hella viral. It's got like over a million. I don't know. I feel like it's all about the vibes. If you're vibing with the clip, if it's an enjoyable experience to watch, then it's likely to do well on TikTok. Now here's an example of something that I see a lot, and it's actually where creators will take a bunch of skateboarding clips, but actually use text on the screen to create a story.
it's not just about the skateboarding clips, it creates a story experience. And that goes along with the idea that TikTok is more of a creator platform as opposed to just a social media. And this is something I do a lot where I will actually take a really small, less than a minute section of an old YouTube vlog and just chop it up into a TikTok format. This type of content consistently performs well for me on TikTok and I see a lot of it on other people's TikToks where it's like some skating, but there's also like a little bit of a storyline to it. Something that I see on my For You page way more than just a skateboarding clip is what I would call an aesthetic hill bomb. I literally see this way too often where it is literally just a group of skaters or a skater bombing a hill into a beach sunset. I swear to God, I see this every single day on TikTok and it always has over 100,000 views. I don't know, I guess they almost make you feel like you're experiencing that moment, even though you're just scrolling on TikTok. Yeah, no, it's really interesting. And I actually do this a lot where I'm just like cruising down the street. My friends are skating around me. I just film like the subways, the sunset, the buildings, just kind of, I love making those because of the memories. Like I feel like they capture something very special that I'm experiencing and just, you know, have that memory kind of documented. And I think since those moments are so special to me, it's connecting with people when they watch them. And I think the same goes for those aesthetic hill bombs that I see all the time. I feel like they just capture something special and beautiful that we experience as skateboarders that we get to share with other skateboarders and anybody else who's scrolling through TikTok. And of course you have the skits, which I would break down into subcategories of wholesome. And comedy. Before the quarantine, Danny and I would literally film a TikTok skit at the end of every session and they were always just so low key and easy to make and fun. And a lot of the times they would perform really well and get a lot of views, so it was rewarding. Now that wholesome skit category is surprisingly large on TikTok, just like feel good content, which brings me to what I think is the most interesting thing about skateboarding on TikTok and it is how much love beginners get. I see so many TikToks of beginners struggling to kickflip, maybe landing their first kickflip that just absolutely blow up. There is also a lot of sort of trick tip content, how to skate content. I have done several of these myself. One of them was just like a 60 second kind of hack that I had to help me learn kickflips. That one did super well. People posting their progression does super, super well on TikTok. And it just seems like a very beginner friendly environment for skateboarders. I think that is really, really cool actually. And my theory for why this is the case because the audience on TikTok skews pretty young. So newer skateboarders are joining the platform, which one leads to beginners posting their own skate videos on TikTok and other beginners see that and feel like all of a sudden they can skate. And two, it leads to a lot of advanced skateboarders making TikToks that are accessible to beginners. I've had a lot of success with trick tips. I also do super well with this series that I call Weird Skater Facts, where I just describe little things about skate culture that beginners may not know yet. 51% of my audience identifies as female. This is in huge contrast to my Instagram and YouTube where my male viewership is upwards of 80, 90%. Whatever the explanation may be, I'm definitely seeing a lot of girls making content on TikTok, getting a lot of views, getting a lot of engagement, probably inspiring girls at a large scale to start skateboarding. But I do think there is this like energy on TikTok of acceptance and encouragement, which which is really freaking cool. As a content creator, I really appreciate TikTok as a platform where I can show a new, fun, creative side of myself without worrying about the repercussions of the algorithm because the TikTok algorithm is very forgiving. I posted a freaking video about macaroni and cheese and it got 100,000 views. If I posted a video about mac and cheese on YouTube or Instagram, everyone would be like, what the f I understand why skateboarders are hesitant to sort of adopt TikTok because <laughs> skateboarders are hesitant to adopt anything new when it comes to social media. Revive was the first company that really used YouTube to market skateboarding and they are extremely successful at selling skateboards to that beginner audience that goes to YouTube. It's like the skate industry is really, really, really hesitant to get into that territory because of that potential kook factor. Like no skate brand wants to be seen as a kook 
kooky brand. Revive has embraced capturing that beginner audience and that has worked out really well for them, but there is absolutely a stigma against that brand now. And you know, since I am seeing how TikTok is really, really accessible to beginners, I feel like it is a phenomenal opportunity for the skate industry to hop on and reach that beginner audience that is just now getting into skateboarding, but I don't really expect them to do it at large because that's skateboarding. And you know, that's there's nothing really wrong with that. It's just kind of the way it is. My most viral video is almost 3 million views and it literally took me 30 seconds to make. I simply showed a flawed skate park design. I put the You Gon' Die song behind it. It is a strange feeling, especially considering that I put a full week's worth of effort into every single YouTube video. They will get significantly less views than a TikTok that I put 30 seconds of effort into. What does that mean? I don't know, just an observation. So what does this all mean for skateboarding? I don't know. I mean, I was on YouTube in 2007 and I would watch trick tip after trick tip and I got really into the skate vloggers and they truly did influence my skateboarding. You know, if I was solely influenced by core skateboarding and full length skateboarding videos, I probably would not be this uh, weird YouTuber skater boy. <laughs> and I feel like since TikTok is so accessible to beginner skateboarders and people are making content directed at them, inspiring them, I think TikTok seriously has the potential to kind of shape maybe not an entire generation, but a subsection of an entire generation of new skateboarders. Like there's going to be tons and tons of skaters who started skateboarding because they saw skate content on TikTok. And I think that type of skateboarder is going to grow up to be quite different than somebody who grew up reading Thrasher and watching full lengths. And you know, they don't necessarily have to be mutually exclusive. And I'm happy TikTok is increasing accessibility to skateboarding. I love feeling like I've inspired somebody to skate or help somebody learn a new trick because skateboarding has had such a phenomenally positive impact on my life and my mental health that I just love the idea of spreading that to others. And I'm happy to use TikTok if TikTok is going to reach those beginner skateboarders and yeah what do you think about tiktok leave it in the freaking comments let's get a good discussion going down there don't forget before you go to click that link in the top of the description the first 1000 people to do so will get a free two-month trial of skillshare premium it's freaking thundering out there i'm about to chill out vibe out edit this video hope you guys are staying safe and sane in quarantine i know i am barely grasping onto my sanity so it's okay if if you're in the same position <laughs> thanks for watching shred on Wow, Siri has been listening to me for a while, huh? Ooh, lightning.